Hello, and welcome to this episode of The Arctic Dungeon Master. And today, I got a package in the mail, this time from Dungeon Crate. So, as you guys know if you've been watching the channel, I usually open up Dungeon in a box. But they're uh, changing their things after year three. They're going down to a uh, smaller package, uh, more like a one-shot instead of doing an overarching campaign. And living in Alaska, the reason why I kind of started this channel was just to uh, kind of show what kind of like box things there are in the world um, that were economical and great to have up in Alaska. Uh, boxes that would come up to Alaska also. Um, and Dungeon in a Box was a great one to have this was another one probably an, one of the original ones and it's still around and uh, well let's open it up so it gets the big knife treatment and it comes in the box it doesn't get put in a little bag or anything like that so that's an interesting way for shipping um, and just right off the bat um, I don't, uh, yes, I can compare. Uh, so, just right off the bat, let's just compare sizes. So this is the dungeon crate. This is a dungeon in a box from year one and year two. As you can see, it is bigger than a year one and year two box. But, I'll be right back. And I'm sorry for showing you my bum bum. This is a box for year three. And uh, notice how year three is just slightly bigger. No, it is bigger. It is bigger than the Dungeon Crate box. So there's those. But let's go through. Let's open up. And I believe that is not an overarching um, campaign like. Uh, dungeon in a box was so they're kind of more along the same type deal now and uh, this is 35 bucks when I started uh, dungeon in a box was like 39 and then uh, with year three it was like 35 I believe too so 29 then 35 this is 35 as well or maybe it was 39 I'm not quite sure um, stuffing Actually, I might use that in the future. Haha, <laughs> okay, so. This is interesting. Uh, this side is like a dungeon mat. Um, a very poor one, I guess. Um, it's quite travelable. You can very well travel with it. And uh, it looks like you can mark on it with like those washable erasers. Uh, it's like almost made out of the same material as battle mats um and the battle mats i got are awesome i love them uh this would be an interesting addition but what i really like that makes this battle map cool or worthwhile is it has everything that this box came with um so that's kind of cool i like that it lets me know everything that should be in my box so that i know who to yell at when I'm missing something. Probably because they don't always have the same stuff. Like Dungeon in a Box, you knew you were getting two maps. You knew you were getting skinny minis. You knew you were getting two 3D minis. You knew that you were getting stuff. All right, so uh, I got this, uh, this big glow in the dark dice, I think. Maybe not, it might not be glow in the dark. It's just a big D20, which is kind of cool. Um, kind of gimmicky as well, but it's cool. Uh, Dungeon Doodles. Um, 
so I can get some uh, custom artwork. I, um, uh, you know, not gonna lie, I might actually do that. <laughs> uh, sticker that I will add to my background wall that I never use anymore. But, uh, this is kind of cool. Nice and heavy, too. Good quality sticker. A fuzzball. Alright, I got a bunch of fuzzballs. I have no idea what they are. I... I really hope that this is not the bag of bees. I don't know. It just seems weird that they would do that. Oh, more bone dice. Dice bones. Um. So yeah, I don't know if they're really made of bone or what. I don't know. Interesting. Crazy. More. No more dice. Uh, Reaper Bones Monster, uh, the Eldritch Horror, interesting, I like uh, that they're using Reaper Bones instead of other uh, minis, Reaper Bones are just easier to paint, uh, Bones Villian Lawn. So this is a uh, Reaper Bones Mini also, and it is a special edition Reaper Mini that they only sell during October. Um, so it's like a little gimmicky Wolfman, a cutie guy. Oh, these are cool. Um, so these are two monster cards, stat cards. So you got the monsters on the front side, then you got the stats on the back. And that's cool, I like that. I love monster cards. As a DM, it's just easy. And uh, something like this. Um, I can just whip down and it's something my characters have never seen before. So I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so something like that um, keeps my players on their toes. So yeah, totally love that they have something like this. Uh, it saves a lot of work for a DM. So that's cool. Okay, gotcha. So, this is the bag of bees. I'm not exactly sure how this quite works. Uh, because it's got this really cool card um, on the front side, dungeon crate. On the back side, it has like a miniature version of a, a character sheet, which is kind of cool. I like. Um, yeah, but I don't understand what the bees are for. Uh, I guess it goes back to that uh, card insert. Uh, bag of bees. Sure, regular bees are uh, helpful to our ecosystem. But not these babies. Use them in Cult Classics 3 to represent the BBG and then as dungeon decor. Okay, alright. So, these guys are not. Um, these guys are not the bag of bees. I have no idea what the, these things are for. Ah. 
All right. This next thing is awesome. Doesn't really have anything to do with D&D. But it is a Rivendell Golden Moon. Do I need to say more? This is Frodo Baggins. All right, I'm sure you guys have seen me wear a lot of Hobbit Lord of the Rings stuff uh, in my videos. This is going into my collection. It's a Rivendell Gold Golden Moon. The crest, Crescent Moon coin comes from the Rivendell during the rule of Elrond. It depicts the Rivendell Valley flanked by waterfalls containing the ancient trees of silver and gold. And then the three... Cimmerals represented as stars. The, the reverse reads Elrond half elven, the lord of Rivendell, and of the lost homely house east of the sea. 2941, the Lord of the Rings. So this is handmade in the United States of America. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's some Elvish right here. Super cool. Um, and then, yeah. So this is cool. I'm not going to lie. Super cool. Really cool. And I lost one of those fuzzy, fuzzy things, which, whatever. All right, so I got another card, this one from Norse Foundry. Uh, no discount or anything like that. You know, this might be a Lang of Pipes. There's supposedly 13 in them. Uh, we always try to put a little something extra in your crate, whatever. We haven't listed on the insert is a little gift from us to you. Wow. Uh, apparently I saved 10% uh, when I shop at Metal Dice Games. Big insert just for that. Um, uh, Cult 3 Classics. Um, so this is the adventure booklet that comes in a dungeon crate. Uh, it's really flimsy. Not to knock on them, but let me just pull out a dungeon in the box. You know what? Let's not. This is about this is about dungeon crate. Um, it's a really flimsy, flimsy um, booklet. The cover is very basic. Um, it's for levels three through five. Um, so I've been looking for the map, and this is the map the map uh, just quick quick go through it looks like a simple campaign one shot to run uh, it's broken up into uh, different chapters so there's chapter one and then there's chapter two and then there's chapter three, which is like the big climax. Um, so it doesn't look like, and in case you lose your uh, stat cards, ah, here are stats for the creatures, the skitter and the honey ooze. And then there's also uh, Lyco Kids and the Dandy Man. Hmm. 
don't understand the bees. So, kind of like Dungeon in a Box. Kind of. Um, the, the book is not as great as the Dungeon in a Box, especially the way they started to do their bo books for year three, which is something that I hope they continue with the Wondrous One-Shots. And I have refrained from getting the additional... Um, one shots uh, just to not get disappointed um, so this was the dungeon crate box um, a lot of extra stuff that as a dungeon master I don't know um, I mean do I need more dice probably am I going to use them probably Probably not. They they have a uh, there's a higher chance of them getting stolen from my wife by my wife than me using them. Uh, the one thing that is super cool, I will definitely have to say, uh, nice additions are um, definitely these uh, cards, the monster stack cards, and this Lord of the Rings ring. Totally awesome. Not gonna lie. Um, I haven't quite figured out about the bees, bees, but this little stat card is kind of cool. I don't know if it is uh, markable and erasable, but kind of cool. Anyhow, that was the dungeon crate box. Do I feel like it's worth 35 bucks? Mm, not really, but I've already paid for next month. Because that's just the way subscriptions work, I guess. And, uh... Hmm. At least it looks better, so, um, watch for next month's video. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you enjoyed this, if it was worth your time. You know, let me know. Thank you for watching this video from the Arctic Dungeon Master. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications. And if you really, really liked it, please think about supporting this channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link in the description below. Every little bit helps. Thanks, guys. See you next week.